But I think this is where it starts to talk about then why would I want to take that opportunity um, if I'm looking for a job? So as we sort of talk to some of our clients about this who have thought about, is this the right next step for me? It kind of ties back into what we were talking about a few weeks ago around sometimes it might be taking too long to find a full-time role. So this could be sort of a stopgap of something to do in the short term, build up your resume, continue to kind of show that you're working while you look for something full-time. Yep. Um, it's it's usually, you know, I have personally done it in my own career um, and why I've done it and the value that I've seen is a number one, it's just a great way to expose yourself to all different types of companies, different types of business models, um, different types of leadership styles. You can kind of come in, work, utilize your special skill set, but also get this exposure to a wider array of different types of companies and the nuances and sort of along the way, make your checklist of, you know, if your ultimate goal is to find something full time, um, really think through of like, I like this at this company, this wasn't so great and start to hone in on um, what you particularly uh, find valuable in a company or what you want that end result to be for you when you finally do land in a full-time uh, experience. Yeah, and it was really interesting because one of our clients, it gave both parties a chance to sort of try it out. So she was coming for a bigger company and she wanted to move up to a startup. And it sort of gave her the chance to say like, do I really want to be in a startup? Is this really what I think it's going to be? And on the company side, it gave them a chance to say, hey, you've never worked for a startup before. As we build out what this role is going to look like, we want to kind of try you out a little bit because we don't know if you'll be successful in a startup. So it actually gave both parties a chance to try it, sort of try before you buy kind of sense because there's a lot more flexibility um, for someone in a contractor role to, to terminate the agreement if it doesn't continue on. Yeah, absolutely. And that's, that's actually quite common um that sort of contract to full-time opportunity and that can be you know a company needs to move pretty quickly and they need to hire but and they can't go through their normal protocol of interviewing um or they have a couple yellow flags or see a couple gaps in someone's background they're like would you be open to sort of coming in and trying out the situation but to your point um being on the contractor side, again, like great opportunity to come in, get a small sample size of what it's because going through the interview process, like you can only find out so much, like actually putting yourself in the shoes of working in the company for a month, three months is extremely valuable and insightful for making that final decision of whether or not you want to join them full time. Yeah. And I think too, it also gives some flexibility. So you know, sometimes contractors are working roughly 40-ish hours. Sometimes it may just be like 10 hours a week. And so another client we're working with uh, is a newer mom and she wants to be in the workforce, but not at the same degree as she was as a full-time employee. So she's doing some freelance and contracting work so that she's got more flexibility in her days. She can control her time a little bit more. She doesn't have to be yeah. working sort of the nine to five grind. And so that might be another reason to consider it. It might offer you more flexibility. Yep. And another client that is sort of top of mind, it does it to uh, expand their network. So mm -hmm. each each contract that you do and go into a company and work with different teams um, can lead to other opportunities. So it's, it may not just be, you know, yes, you're learning about that company and maybe that turns into a full-time opportunity. But um, I've had people that I work with that go in, they create relationships, and then they've got colleagues in the industry that are looking very sim very similar scenario. They connect them with them, and it it just expands your web as far as your network goes of finding, you know, different types of opportunities. 